Hi VC, James here. Just a quick uh, video for you. Just wanted to pose a question. I know it's Christmas and people are slowing down on their video production, but um, maybe this is a thread that will grow legs. Just want to ask the question, what is the longest period of time that it has ever taken you uh, to buy a record that you want, to pull the trigger on an album? How? What's the longest stretch from becoming aware that you want a particular record to actually buying it, to actually getting a copy. Just want to quickly show you a purchase that I got today. This is the album Pictures at Eleven by Robert Plant, which I bought today from Oxfam. Uh, it's in reasonable condition, not bad. This is his first solo album back from, yeah, who was it that it came out? 1982. So it was only a couple of years after Zeppelin broke up. It's on the lovely uh, Swan Song label. This is the album that features Cozy Powell and Phil Collins on drums. It followed a period of turmoil, I think, for Robert. He nearly gave up music, he nearly became a teacher. Then he decided to hell with that. I remember seeing this album for sale in a shop in my hometown Wrexham, the shop was called Phase One Records, long gone, and I was, I think I was either 16 or 17 years old, I just got into Robert, I'd bought his album, um, uh, I said never mind, Now and Zen, which came out in I think 1987, 88, and I'd started to notice his other albums, you know, around the place, at that point there was only Shaken and Stirred, and Principle of Moments, and this one, and I always remember being interested in the cover for this one. It's got quite a cool cover. It's quite a strange cover design, really. Not quite sure what he was thinking. He's kind of stood there in this white room with a fire hydrant on the wall. Then there's an insert, which is a kind of picture of him on the wall, though it's a mirror, and that's on fire. And then you look on the back, and the fire hydrant is kind of going into the mirror. Anyway, I used to look at this in the, in the racks in this shop called phase one when i was 17 or 16 and i'm now 46 years old and over the years i've seen it many times and i've always thought oh yeah i'll pick that up and just for one reason or another it just never happened you know there were occasions when maybe i was in a shop and i'd you know i'd already put a stack together and you know then i saw it but my stack was already too big so i didn't want to spend the money so i'd always say well you know i'll defer it to next time or i'd see it and the condition wouldn't be great or i'd see it and the price wouldn't be marvelous and sometimes i'd even see it and there'd be nothing wrong the price would be good uh the condition would be great i'd have the money and i still wouldn't buy it um i mean i've had it on cd for years and it's it's always been on my want list and it's i can't believe it's taken me 30 years to buy it so that must be a record as, as far as I'm concerned. That must be the longest period of time between deciding, yeah, yeah, I quite fancy that album and actually getting hold of a copy. And today I finally did. So there's my question to you. What is the longest period of time that you have ever experienced between realising that you want a record and actually buying it? Thanks. See you soon.